Hi, sweet one. It's Jin, Jeanette, Certified Regenerative Detox Specialist, Alkaline Health Coach, and Clinical Iridologist, coming to you today from Healthy Planet in Oakville. And so this is episode number eight in my series, Alkalize to Detox and Regenerate. This has been so fun. I'm so happy that you're all giving amazing feedback and are here with me. This is actually going to be a two-part episode. Um, or I'll just have to carry it into episode number nine. This is on fasting and juice feasting to alkalize and detox and regenerate. So it's perfect on topic, yeah. I don't know if you know this about me. I actually did a 40-day Concord grape juice feast, as I'm calling it. It's called the Master Fast System. And this is using Concord grape juice and lemon. And this is all you consume along with an activated charcoal mix the plasma pudding as they call it at the master fast system there's a beautiful facebook group you should really check that out these are amazing experts in how the body heals in terms of using fasting and letting the body just heal all by itself because in regards to fasting you're actually freeing up all this digestive energy so when you eat food 80 percent of your energy has to go to digestion so what happens when you free that energy up it's not only going to you to feel your best feel more energized it's also going to the areas of the body that actually require healing the body takes energy to heal so by freeing that energy up it's amazing in my next episode i'll go over the uh, levels of detoxification as well as the healthy food pyramid so the problem with solid food vacation is we see a lot of the time people not knowing how to eat they never really learned how to eat so as a detoxification specialist I provide customized programs for my clients so that they can actually learn this as a lifestyle rather than a detox event a short event where they're just not eating uh, it's wonderful to play around for sure with fasting and juice facing I highly encourage it uh, but it, even if you were to check out, out my friends that you know master Gino that's an expert in this the master fast system they're no longer recommending really long solid food vacations juice fasting they're doing just what they call like different levels so you're eating a certain number of days per week and you're fasting a certain number of days per, per week and that teaches the individual how to actually eat in the way of being more mucusless uh, less you know dense chemistry foods and just kind of exploring what works for their particular body so that's been an amazing journey for me you can look up the YouTube video where they interviewed me at the master fast system just type in Jeanette and Akini on YouTube and it should come up uh, you'll get my channel but then you'll get that video separately and so what I really love to do with my clients in terms of fasting is introduce intermittent fasting. You know, even the medical system is getting really into this. Like I've heard of medical doctors recommending to really, you know, sick individuals that they ought to do intermittent fasting. So even just the average person can do this, you know. Uh, one of the tips and tricks I give to my clients is like to develop this more transition lifestyle for themselves by bringing in intermittent fasting. For example, if one were to eat fruits and drink fruit juices all day long or even green juices and then just have one meal you know one meal in the evening maybe or any time of day but that one meal is consumed within one hour they're totally finished eating it you can kind of really just like eat whatever you want ideally you'd be off the animal proteins if you caught my last video you'll understand why that is and maybe even have a lot less in terms of like um, grains and these uh, starches, you know, these pastas, these breads, stuff like this. But regardless, like my clients absolutely love experimenting with their body in this way. I think you're gonna love it too. Even a dry fast where you stop your eating and drinking window at 7 p.m. You don't take anything, no water, nothing. And then 7 a.m. the next morning, you can break it. You know, and if you've been following me, you know that you break your fast in really gentle ways with herbal teas and fruits and juices like this. And I'm here to support you if you have any questions about how to properly break a fast, especially if you're like some of the people that really want to go on a long solid food vacation, or maybe they just want to eat fruit for 10 days and nothing else, but just like really, you know, hydrate up and get that electricity because honestly, that's what we actually need. We're not actually in need of nutrition they kind of are uh, 
yeah, maybe brainwashing us a little bit to believe that we need like so much nutrition. Actually, I believe the body can create whatever it needs in terms of these vitamins and minerals. I think more so the body needs hydration and electricity. So one of the things I wanted to point out with fasting is, you know, when somebody's in hospice or they're very sick in the hospital, actually they're being given these Ensure drinks. Ensure is very high in protein and also these man-made isolates, these vitamins and minerals that are made in the lab. And I believe that these would actually, this would actually really work against the person. The protein is highly mucus forming and the, the isolates, like kind of the body just doesn't really, I don't know if it knows really what to do with them or if maybe in comes magnesium and out goes phosphorus, your body kind of has to compensate for this. So yeah, I just wanted to point out that people believe that Ensure is actually keeping really sick people alive in hospice or hospitals and actually it's uh, the exact opposite. What I would do is give the person a lot of fruit juices. Grape juice and lemon, for example, has kept people alive even when we have to feed them through the colon because they can't keep anything down. So this way it supports the body to heal and recover from any illness and uh, doesn't just further clog the system and work against the body's natural healing ability. So fasting requires a lot of discipline and discipline is a big component of self-love, yeah? So is flowing moment to moment with all of our needs and desires, whether that means to kind of lay off on the discipline a little bit and let loose or sticking to the discipline. You know, self-loving one day might actually be to ask your inner child what he or she wants. And that might mean to have some pizza or pasta. You know, that could be self-loving for you. So I'm really grateful that you're here with me. If you wanna go further on your healing journey or there's something that's ailing you spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, please reach out, allow me to work with you. You could check out my website, thehealingjunction.ca to see my services. And I'm just wishing you all the best on your healing journey. Lots of love.